I would argue that the act of building a project with EMT conduit and maker pipe connectors is easier than the planning process of that project. And that's because building with EMT conduit and connectors is relatively easy. You only need a few simple hand tools to cut the conduit and put the connectors together. But getting to that point and getting past all the initial preliminary planning and figuring out what connectors you need can be kind of overwhelming if you're new to EMT conduit and the maker pipe connector system. So in this video, I wanna share a really simple process for figuring out what connectors you need for your projects. And I'm gonna visualize this and show you this in Microsoft Paint, <laughs> the legendary Microsoft Paint. Now, and that's gonna be step one. Step one is going to be visualizing your project. So you got that idea in your head, whether it's something for your garden, something in your office, whatever it may be, you've got that idea in your head for your project, go ahead and get it out of your head and put it on paper. You can use you know, a piece of paper and a pencil, or you can do what I'm doing and just using something simple like Microsoft Paint, and just get the idea out of your head and visualize it with just simple lines. Don't do anything too complicated, don't overthink it, and don't worry about the connections or anything like that. Just get the idea out of your head using lines and just you know sketch out the idea really simply that way. So right here, I've got just a simple desk, as you can see here. And once we've got the sketch already finished, like that's step one, like I said, we've already got this finished, we can move on to step two, which is to identify just shapes and count the number of pipes that are being joined in one section of that shape. So for example here, I like to use different colors to represent the different pipes in the build. So we'll keep the vertical black, but then we'll say this front to back pipe is going to be red, as you can see here. And then we'll use this pipe that goes from the uh, back here. This will be blue. So just so we can visualize a little bit differently. So we've got three total pipes being joined together. If we look at this connection here, we're gonna figure this one out first. So we're joining three pipes together here. So step, step one is to sketch your build. Step two is to identify shapes and count the number of pipes that are being joined together in a specific point in that build. And then step three is just to compare that to the optional connectors or the connector options that you have uh, to use in your build. So we'll pull this up and I've got the MakerPipe website here. It's, I'm just under the shop tab. You can see all the MakerPipe options. And if you look at all these, you might be overwhelmed, but once we start to eliminate some of the options, there's really only one or two that make sense in a lot of different scenarios. So we'll pull up our sketch here. And we'll, again, we got three pipes being joined together. So let's just start by eliminating everything that doesn't allow you to join three pipes together, which is quite a bit. So we're just going to focus on the connections that allow you to join three together, which would be this one here, the 90, the 180 degree, this one, the adjustable 180, and the 135, I believe, is all that you can use to join three pipes together. So we eliminated a bunch there. And something to keep in mind whenever you're looking at the connectors and figuring out how many pipes they join together, you want to pay close attention to what we call the through pipe or the terminating pipe. So for example, here in the T connector, you might see this and assume that you know you can split this long piece of conduit in half and join them together inside the connector, but you can't. Any, any type of connection like this that has uh, you know a, a through pipe that's going all the way through it and that works the same on all of these connectors. And then uh, wherever you have the nut and bolt, as you can see here, where the conduit goes in and stops inside the connector, call that the terminating pipe. So just pay close attention to that whenever you're looking at the connector options. But going back here, we can see we've got those four options for joining three pipes together. So if we just go through and look at the options and compare what we need here in this build, we can see, let's just look at the 180 degree for example. We've got the one, the pipe that goes all the way up through the middle, the vertical here, that would be the black pipe in our sketch. And then we've got one pipe that comes in from one side, that would be the blue one here, so far so good. And then if we have another pipe coming out of it on this side in a straight line, then that would be coming out this side here and you know continue the connection and continue the run. That's not what we need here, obviously. We got a pipe coming in at a different angle. So we know it's gotta be coming in at an angle. Let's look at the 135 degree connector here. You can see you got the vertical pipe going up, that'd be the black pipe. One pipe coming in could be the blue pipe and another pipe coming out. 
Now, it's different from the 180. It's not a straight line, but it's not harsh enough of an angle to allow us to make this sharp corner that we need. So then if we go back up, uh, and then again, we got the adjustable 180 as an option, but that one is not going to work either. If we look, it's got to be the 90 degree connector here. We got the one pipe that goes up in the middle and then the two pipes that come in at a 90 degree angle creating this corner. We've already figured out that one connector. And if you're doing a big project, it might take a long time to go through these connectors. But in reality, it, it may not because we've already figured out that one connector here. And if you look closely, we're going to use that same connector in these six different locations. So we've already figured out six different spots that we're going to be using this connector. And that eliminates you know, a lot of the connectors that we have to figure out here. And there's really only two left that we have to look at. There's this one here, and then this one here. And those, just like the other ones we just figured out, also have a similar uh, side, or like a mirrored side. So we just have to figure it out once, and then we'll have it figured out for the other part as well. So let's look at this one here first. We can see that this is two pipes being joined together. We've got the, uh, we've got the vertical pipe. We'll keep his black again. And then let's just make this red, just because the front to back dimension is going to be the same as it was up here. So we can see we've got the black vertical, <coughs> excuse me, and then, <coughs> sorry, we got the uh, black vertical, and then we've got the red pipe coming out of it. So, but we're just joining two pipes together there. So if we go back and look at our options, we can eliminate all the ones we just figured out that connected three together. And there's really only a few different options that allow us to join two together. The T, the 45, the adjustable angle, the coupling, and then we got a larger T here. And so then we can just work our way through those options. And we can see that the T connector makes the most sense here because it's not at an angle. And it's just a straight line from the back to the front. And it's just you know two pipes being joined together so we can see that it's the T connector. Easy enough. We're just working through those different options and figuring out which one makes the most sense. But in the back here, we're joining two pipes together again. As we can see, we've got the, the blue horizontal pipe and then this angled pipe coming up to it. We're just joining those two together, but we can't use the T connector there because this is coming up at an angle. So because of that, we only have two other options. And you could really use potentially either one here. Just kind of depends on your build and the space that you have, but most likely you'll probably use the 45 degree connector here unless you're trying to, you know, if you're working with like a really small area, Maybe the adjustable angle makes sense if this needs to be a harsher angle. And that's where you just kind of work through and figure out uh, you know, what you need based on the limitations that you have in your space and the dimensions of the build. But really, just going through this process, getting started with this simple exercise, gets you going and allows you to figure out what connectors you need. And you can start working through and figuring out exactly what you need. And again, it's going to be helpful towards the end of your build as well when you're actually putting things together because you're going to already know in your mind how things work where the connectors go, the through pipes, the terminating pipes, all those different things will be really helpful when it's time to put the build together. So from here, once you work through the different connectors that you need from your sketch, you can then you know go on from there. You can get maker pipe mini connectors and you can visualize it even further. You can start modifying the design and adding different features to it. You can start you know looking closer at the connectors and figuring out some creative ways to use them to solve different things. But like I said, this is a really simple technique to start planning your build, figuring out connectors, and then going on from there to move through your build process. I hope this was helpful and encouraging for you if you've got a build that you've been putting off for a while because you weren't sure how to start. Like I said, I think this is just a simple technique and exercise to get you going and start figuring out connectors and move through the planning process of your build. And I'll link a couple videos here on the screen that you can also watch for some helpful techniques and tips for planning out your build. Thanks everybody for watching. We'll see you in the next one.